love for a country he had never seen, and of the miracles that brought them together. It is a true story. Tanks will be coming through here any minute. Where's your mother and father? No help. They killed. Long time. All right, don't just stand there. Come on, get in. What's your name? Shoot. That's not a name, that's a chicken command. Your name's Joe. Joe? Yeah, it's Joe. Kind of lucky at that little Joe. Got yourself tied up with a real good outfit. Mobile mess unit. Food on wheels. You may get shot up, but at least you'll die with a full belly. Oh, good. When? <laughs> Little Joe, watch what you're doing. You're not getting all the eyes out of these things. Eyes? Yeah, these things right here. See, you got to dig them out. Eyes? America like that? What? Much food, big cars, shiny things, lots of money. Everybody have everything. That's America, huh? It's more than that, little Joe. It's more than that. I want to go to America. <laughs> yeah, me too. A gold brick, if ever I saw one. Hey, Sergeant's no ready to look. You should be a general. Well, louder. You should be a... Look, as long as we both know it, that's enough. Listen, little Joe, we're moving out. We're heading back, up north. No more retreat? No more retreat. Good. Yeah. But you're not coming with us. Me belong to you. Work hard. Peel good potatoes. Sweet dirt real fast. You see? Look after you. Look, look, kid, it's, it's going to be too rugged where we're going. Please, I don't care. No can do, little Joe. Come on. Got to get you started. Where I go? I want you to head south towards Poussin. Look, little Joe. Here's some money. And this paper. My name and outfit are on it. You can get in touch with me if you get lonely. Maybe I no see you again. Sure, we'll see each other again. I wait for you. That's right, you wait for me. Not in Busan. No, where? I wait for you in America. <laughs> in America? How are you going to get to America? I walk. Look, kid, that's thousands of miles away, much water. The only ships that go to America leave from Japan. I walk to Japan. You can't do that either. Maybe you can at that. Sure like to see you out of here anyway. Oh, it's a long way off, but 
Maybe you could make it with a good story. Good story? Yeah, a good story. Let's see. I think I, I got a, an angle for you. Uh, you're a Japanese boy, see? Your mother and father, they were Japanese, too. You got picked up by some American troops as a mascot. You got it? And they brought you over to Korea, and now you want to go back to Japan. And so you're looking for a lift. Well, you got your story? Up here. Don't lose story. All right, soldier. Boat, peace! Forward march, soldier. See you in America. Goodbye, little Joe. Come from? Do you have any identification? Sir, this is the boy we found hanging around the airfield. He's probably used by the communists as a spy. I heard about him. Proceed. All right, what's your story? Story? But it better be a good one. Me, Japanese boy. Parents killed. Big, big war. Me, mascot of American troops. Come to Korea. Live with troops. Now they go back to front. Tell me, go home to Japan. I try walk. Get robbed by gang boys. Walk too slow. Want to fly. Sounds reasonable. Uh, what's your name? American name, Little Joe. Now, we're not running an airline, Little Joe. Please, must find relatives in Japan. Take up small room in plane. What'll we do with them, sir? I don't know. Americans brought them up. Americans have to look after them. You really want to go to Japan? Sometime go. Not sometime. Now, uh, where are your belongings? Always ready to make move like army boy. Now that C-47 is going back with a half load. I'm gonna put you in with the cargo. What's that? 
That's a kid, Captain. He's supposed to get off here. That's what you think. Unload everything else on this plane and take him back with you. But, Captain, he belongs here. He belongs on this plane. That's where he's going to stay. Captain, Colonel put him on the plane. A chicken colonel. Oh, is that so? Well, get him off the plane. Get him out of here. Turn him over to the air police. This is a military airfield, not a nursery. Yes, sir. And so, like all loose ends, you finally wound up here in the chaplain's office, huh? Well, now that you're here, what are we going to do with you, little Joe? Me good to have around. Me work. Me no goof. We'll try to find your relatives here in Fukuoka. And in the meantime, maybe we can keep you busy around the base. Sure. Must be lots of... What are you talking about? Eyes. Potato eyes. <laughs> All right, come on, Joe. You come Korea? We flew in yesterday. You know Sam? Sergeant Sam? Don't know last name. Do you know his outfit? Don't know outfit. Sorry, kid. Don't know Sam. You know Sam? Sam. How are you, Joe? Me fine, me fine. I am fine. That's good. No, I am fine. That is good. That's how I say. How would you like to learn English, little Joe? Read and write. Talk to? Talk to. Who learn me? Who teach me? You know, no? <clears throat> All right. Lessons start tomorrow morning, my office. I'd be there. You know, uh, we don't seem to be having much luck in locating any of your relatives, Joe. Maybe they're not around no more. I like it here fine. It's okay. Yeah. All right. Tomorrow morning. Thank you, Father Worf. Country. Country. How you say? How do you say that word? Family. Ah, family. Like mother, father, sister, brother. You have family? Yes, I have two sisters. They're my family. No brothers? No brothers. I have no brothers, you have no brothers, I be your brother. Oh, it's a good deal. Shake. Now, I have two sisters and a brother. Learn enough? Hey, learn enough to go to school like other kids. Go to school with American kids on post? Mm-hmm. I've met all the arrangements. I study real hard. I get smart for when I go to America. Oh. You're uh, planning to go to America, huh? You bet. Why do you want to go there? Land of plenty. Plenty cars. Plenty money. Plenty food. Must be plenty fun when everybody's so plenty rich. That's the only reason? Sure. You help me get to America? Well, that's kind of a big order, little Joe. I get there. Them. Plenty more, too. <laughs> it looks to me like you've got everything you need on you. <laughs> Not everything. Need something more. You busy? Oh, 
Never too busy for my brother. All the kids at school have two names. I only have one. Need one more name. Oh, I see. Yeah, you, you could use the last name. All right, Joe. I think I have a very good name for you. St. Anthony is the patron saint of lost objects. You're a little lost boy. Yeah, that's a good name for you, Joe Anthony. Joe Anthony, good name for America. Yeah. Here, uh, let me have that coat, Joe. You're gonna melt away. Joe, you're, uh, you're always talking about going to America. Don't you want to find your relatives? What about them? Why not, Joe? You can tell me. I'm your brother. I'm not born in Japan. I'm born in Korea. In Korea, no good. Not have food. Not have nothing. Then, I work for Americans. Americans have food. Many good things. I think I'd be like Americans. I think I go to America. In Korea, no can go to America. I have friends. Friends say, make self Japanese boy. When I say this, I get to Japan. I no like to lie, but if I no lie, not get to Japan. Now, I sorry I lie. No have relatives in Japan. Only you, my brother. You still help me get to America? Sure, John. I told you I'd help you. It may take a long time. It may never work out. But I'll try. No send me back to Korea. That I promise. Don't you worry about that. Come in. Hello, Father. Hello, Miss Stevens. What brings you here? Something wrong with Joe's schoolwork? Not with his schoolwork, Father, no. It's just that I'm afraid Joe talks of little else except going to America. Yes, I know. He's counting on me to help him. So far, I haven't been getting anywhere. Been in touch with the State Department. Did you know that the Korean quota for entry into the United States is closed for the next 10 years? Right from the start, they advised me to be sensible and just forget about it. But you're not being sensible. Well, I guess I'm not. At any rate, I've gone on collecting documents. You know, just in case. Joe's a very bright boy. Even though his attitude concerning America is a fairly materialistic one. But he'd make a fine American. Well, right now, I'm afraid it'll take a special act of Congress to get Joe into the United States. Don't happen to know a congressman, do you, Miss Stevens? I keep asking everyone. <laughs> I'm afraid not. But you will keep trying. Oh, you bet I will. Goodbye, Father. Bye. Good afternoon, Chaplain. Good afternoon. Oh, good to see you, Major Brown. I'm expecting you. Sorry for the delay, Captain. We flew down mostly on in instruments. Well, I think I've got everything all cleared away for you. Uh, now, say, you don't happen to know a congressman, do you? No, I don't. Uh, I have a brother who does, though. You're kidding. No, I'm serious. I have a brother who's very friendly with the senator from our state. It's a miracle. Uh, knowing a senator? No. <laughs> no. Here, sit down right here, Father. Uh, just make yourself comfortable. Get you some nice, clean stationery. You are? Oh, you don't waste any time around this base, do you? <laughs> you've received a very favorable letter from a member of the United States Senate. Uh-huh. May we talk here, Father? Oh, I'm sure the Lord won't mind. Might even have a thought. I'm all out of them. What's wrong? Well, first let me tell you what's right. The Senator was even considering special legislation for Joe. But then he discovered there was one unused spot in this year's Korean quota. That's wonderful. Uh -huh, it is. But here's the crusher. They have to be sure if Joe's admitted that he'll never become a public charge. It's a very 
necessary part of the law. And I don't know anyone in the States who can guarantee such a thing. What can we do? I was just asking the same question myself. Come in. Can I see you for a minute, Padre? Oh, sure. Come on in. Thanks. What can I do for you, Lieutenant? Reverse it, Padre. I came here to do something for you and little Joe. I didn't want to get anybody's hopes up, so I did a little secret corresponding. And I just got an affidavit from Monsignor Nicholas H. Wegner, guaranteeing that he will be responsible for little Joe in the States. Boys Town. Uh-huh. <laughs> For he's a jolly good fellow, for he's a jolly good fellow, for he's a jolly good fellow, who is nobody can deny. Hey! All right, now listen, you guys. We've raised enough loot for the plane ticket for little Joe, but, uh, well, you know how it is when you travel. You gotta have a few magazines and some chewing gum and a hamburger along the way. Now, how about it? Let's dig in, huh? Yeah. Come on. Right in the cabin. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Everybody's so good to me, so good in their heart. You remember it, Joe. Don't ever forget it. It's the kind of stuff you can't buy in stores. Now, uh, when you get to San Francisco, you stay at the airport. You'll be met there. What move? And be a good boy and write and study hard. I make you proud of me. Oh, I know you will, son. <laughs> yeah. Sam! It can't be. It is me, little Joe. Little Joey, let me look at you. Boy, you sure are improved. Then they think me spy. Catch right on big planes. Then I go to school. No, first I meet Father Work. I'm sorry, but you've got to hurry, Joe. So much to tell, Sam, but plane no way. Where are you going, little Joe? That's what I tried to tell you. Going to America. You mean you're really going? He actually made it? That's where I go. I told you I would. Boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Joe, Joe, you're going to be left. I'll see you there someday, Sam. Yeah, sure, sure. I sure hope so, little Joe. Now you meet. Talk. Tell everything to each other. All right. First, I want to welcome all of you here today. Many of you are of different faiths but you have all shared in a common purpose, to give. What you have received is contained here in this letter from Little Joe. I'd like to read some of it to you. You remember when I was in Japan, I always say about the money, money is best, but not anymore. I really learned from you. When I was in Korea, I thought the money is best, and money can do everything. Can buy friend, can buy love, can buy everything. Now I learn very much about the money. Cannot buy good friend, cannot buy love. If don't have a penny with me, I still happy, and I love God and all the people. as much as ye have done it unto the least of these, my brethren, ye have done it unto me. Thanks to all of you. I think we recruited a pretty good American. You help me go to America? I get there.
we invite you to be with us again next week.